the leaves. There are a total of three layers of the leaves. The stitches for the first four rounds of each layer are the same. We'll crochet the first layer for demonstration. Please finish rounds one to four of the second and third layers by yourself. Let's crochet the first layer of the leaves. We'll use four millimeters crochet hook. and double strands of green yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it up to your index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring. Make a loop around your middle finger. And pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into a loop on middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on middle finger. In round 1, start from one chain stitch, then work 8 single crochets, and finally join the round with one slip stitch. We need to work a chain stitch at the beginning of each round to raise the height, and finally end with a slip stitch as a connection to join each round. The chain stitch and the slip stitch are not counted into a number of stitches. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn around the hook and pull through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. It is not counted as one stitch. Then work eight single crochets. Insert the hook into a magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the ring. Now there are two loops on the hook. Yarn round the hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V-shape on the side stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first single crochet through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Continue to work 7 more single crochets in the same way. Insert hook into a magic ring, hook the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook, pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's one single crochet. Continue to work 6 more single crochets in the same way.
There are eight ways stand for eight single crochets. Now pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Then work one slip stitch in the first stitch. Remove the marker. Insert hook into a marked stitch through the underneath of the both loops of the V-shape. Put the yarn tail above the hook so that it can be concealed during crocheting. Yarn round the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. Once the loop stitch is finished, round one is done. The slip stitch serves as a connection. It is not counted into a number of stitches. 